This weekend, there are some good thrillers to stream, including a reboot on CBS and a new show with Rosie O'Donnell. Here to break it on down, break it on down, break it all down, I think, is TV Guide <laughs> Editor-in-Chief Mickey O'Connor. We can break it on down, break it all down as well. Okay, so we're going to start with this reboot on yeah, yeah. CBS SWAT. Yeah. Uh, it stars Shamar Moore. He was here. He's yep. super pumped about being in this yeah, yeah. show. Um, let's just play a little bit of it. Sure. This is the third shooting here in the last six months. How many times have you told me there's a better way to do things here? Now's your chance to prove it. Hondo. My son. You got some big promotion. Does that mean that you can do something about what's going on? I am to try, though. Well, I'll be watching. What color are you supposed to be, brother? Black or blue? They say I got You're gonna have to pick. So there's a little tease there. When Shamar yeah. Moore was here, he said what he liked about uh, the show and doing the show is that it does, it's not just a cop show, it does touch on a lot of the conversations that we're having in this country yep. now yep. without sort of being very direct and preachy. Well, I think from what I understand, the first the first episode very much does deal with race. It deals with the police shooting of an innocent, unarmed uh, teenager. and um, But that further than that, there's a lot of other stuff that SWAT team does. And so... You know, I think that this was a good introduction. It was a good way to get people hooked. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of people don't know it's a remake of a 1970s show. You would remember it from the from the theme song. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, <laughs> but yeah, you know. Well, how does that theme song go? Da -na -na, na -na -na, <laughs> na -na -na. There you Very go. Very right? good. Yeah. Um, but the um, sorry, mom. The, um, <laughs> but the uh, you know, it's it's uh, pretty. Uh, you know, s solid uh, background. Right. Uh, Sean Ryan, who did the Shield. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, great. Uh, the, Justin Lin directed the pilot, okay. who he did the Fast and the Furious movies. Right. There's a lot of action. There's oh, a lot good. of car yeah. crashes, uh, explosions. It's pretty great. It's okay. fun. Okay, so Netflix too uh, mm -hmm. has a murder mystery. Yeah, it's called Alias Grace. Yeah, it's kind of like a murder mystery slash period piece. Yep. And if you like Margaret Atwood, like right, a right. lot of people did because yep. of The Handmaid's Tale, yep. it's based on a Margaret Atwood novel. Yep. Right. Let's listen and look. I lost part of my memory entirely. I hope sooner or later we will bring back your memory. I'm not at all sure I want it back. When I close my eyes. I can remember every detail of that house. The same sort of work from dawn to dusk. Always a mistress ordering me a bite. If I could just scrub this floor. You stupid It's strange to reflect that of all the people living in that house, I was the only one of them left alive. She did it. Yeah. She did it. Why is she the only one left alive? <laughs> okay, what I was just going to say is that I think that, like, you know, the, the thing about this show is that you don't really know if she did it, yeah. if she's crazy, if she's, you know, if she's in some sort of dissociative fugue. Like, you just don't know. Right. And, um, but, you know, the uh, actress, her name is uh, Sarah Gadon. She's uh -huh. a great Canadian actress. This is a really great perfor uh, performance for her. Anna Paquin co-stars in it. She plays the, the lady of the house who's murdered. Um, but yeah, it's like, again, this is Margaret Atwood. Yeah. Um, you know, Hulu has dark, The Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, this is pretty dark. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think it's kind of keeps you guessing, like, whether or not this is, uh, you know, true or not. I'm into it. I'm totally, totally into it. This is my kind of thing. Okay, we're going to lighten it up a bit, though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Hey, it's the weekend, for goodness sakes, right? right. right? Smilf? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a typo. I thought it was supposed to be smile, but somebody put an F by mistake. Not, uh, but it is... Smilf. Smilf. Yeah. On Showtime this as Sunday. A, as my mom would say, single mother, I'd like to friend on Facebook. Oh, oh very <laughs> good. I wondered what you were going to say. All right, let's play a little bit about that. <laughs> I'm a little worried about the baby with Raffi the relapser. Mom, he's a great dad. He does bedtime every night. Can you look at Nelson Rose Taylor's Instagram real quick? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your baby daddy's new girlfriend. Ew, hashtag blessed. And we're out of town. Ready, one, two, three. Hi. You should get out more. You know that, right? Get out plenty. So we saw a little Rosie O'Donnell in, yeah, here, yeah. in there, but this lady right here, she's yeah, a Frankie, Frankie Shaw. Shaw. Yeah. She's the star of the show. So she wrote and directed and starred in this short film that had the same name that won a big prize at Sundance. And mm -hmm. so they adapted it into a television series for uh, Showtime. And um, yeah, it's about being a single mother. It's about, you know, she's a, she's a struggling actress. Um, she goes on a lot of auditions. She also works as a... Uh, nanny for sort of a wealthy family. Mm -hmm. Connie Britton plays the mother in that family. Rosie O'Donnell plays her mom. She's like kind of nuts and kind of <laughs> like 
too much in her life right. and everything. And you know, it's kind of it's it's a really realistic portrait of being a single mother and 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 feeling like so exhausted and, and oh. so busy, but also like so alone. Like a lot of mm. it is about how she's. You know, she's just she's craving companionship, right? Um, and uh, it's really great. And I think that the first episode gives you a really good introduction, but I think that it's the second and third episodes yeah. that'll make you really love it. It's really great. A little edgy, little funny. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. Boston's the backdrop, and Boston's, Boston's backdrop. like a character all on its own. Sometimes yeah. I feel yeah. like. Yeah, so it. I'm born and born and raised in Boston, <laughs> and I uh, I always say that whenever there's uh, you know something set in Boston, like first and foremost, I have to judge it by the accents. And she does a pretty good job. She's good. She's good. Rosie O'Donnell's really good. You know, I think that she found that place where Long Island and Boston meet, and. <laughs> Yeah. Thumbs if, up. If a Thumbs Long up. Island accent and a Boston accent had a baby, you got Rosie O'Donnell's yeah, yeah. accent like, right there. It's like she like somewhere in Providence or something. <laughs> it's like that's yeah. That's you good. You've given us a lot of choices, <laughs> Mickey O'Connor. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs>